हेलो एवरीबॉडी आई एम दोरित महतो एंड यू आर वाचिंग आर्ट एंड पुरुलिया दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ द सीरीज ड्राइंग फॉर एब्सोल्यूट बिगिनर्स टुडे आई विल डिस्कस द मेथड्स दैट आर यूज टू क्रिएट इल्यूजन ऑफ डेप्थ और डिस्टेंस इन ड्राइंग एंड पेंटिंग दैट इज पर्सपेक्टिव पर्सपेक्टिव इज द आर्ट ऑफ ड्रॉइंग थ्री डायमेंशनल सीन्स कन्विंसिंगली ऑन ए टू डायमेंशनल सर्फेस टिल नाउ in this series of drawing for absolute beginners videos we have covered how to develop observational skills and manual skills lines shapes and forms two ways to make form shapes to form and gesture lines to form we have also seen the concepts of 3d sides views contour lines directional lines lights and shadows and shading techniques and i hope you have been doing the exercises that i have recommended commenting on the importance of perspective leonardo da vinci stated perspective is to painting what the bridle is to horse the rudder to a ship that is the whole painting gets steered by the perspective or the lack of it i'll divide the perspective methods into two main categories linear perspective and atmospheric or aerial perspective in this part i'll cover the linear perspective including the relational or special aspects of lines and shapes linear perspective uses lines to create the illusion of space before we get into this let's understand some basic terminologies horizon line This is the line that theoretically divides the sky from the ground or water. It also represents the viewer's eye line. Vanishing point. Vanishing point is the point on the horizon line where the objects appear to disappear at the distance. There can be numerous vanishing points in a scene. ground plane this is the horizontal plane below the horizon it can be land or water or both orthogonal lines these are the lines that are directed towards the vanishing point vantage point this is the point from where the scene is viewed it's not same as the vanishing point in fact it is the opposite of vanishing point linear perspectives convergence of lines is the most effective way to show distance though there can be many vanishing points in a scene the concept can be understood better if we see one point two point and three point perspectives let's come to one point perspective in one point perspective there is only one vanishing point and it is used to illustrate forms that are facing the viewer in this type of perspective the viewers are drawn into the scene Now let's see how you can draw in one point perspective. To simplify, we will take a regular object, let's say a cube. First draw the horizon line. Mark the vanishing point. Now draw the face of the objects that are facing the viewer. now here two points uh, are important to remember are the vertical lines will remain vertical and horizontal lines will remain horizontal now connect all the corners to the vanishing point which are the orthogonal lines now draw another square towards the vanishing point the four corners should touch the four orthogonal lines now you can erase the remaining parts of the orthogonal lines as of now it looks like a transparent cube you can erase the lines which are supposed to be obscured to make it solid similarly you can draw a building on the horizon line trees roads etc 
in same one point perspective now let's come to two point perspective in this you have two vanishing points on the horizon line two point perspective is used to illustrate forms under a certain angle such as looking side to side or up to down the closest objects almost pop out to the viewer here also we start with the horizon line then place two vanishing points on the horizon line if we want to draw a cuboid one corner comes close to the viewer so we start with a vertical line join the ends of the line to the vanishing points that is the orthogonal lines then draw two vertical lines on those lines and join them the vertical lines remain vertical horizontal lines converge to both the vanishing points
Now we'll see three point perspective. A three point perspective is generally used when we want to exaggerate heights or depths. That happens when our viewing angle is too acute, either a bird's eye view or a worm's eye view. That is either we are looking from quite an elevation or quite from down below. In this, two vanishing points are placed on the horizon line and another one either above it when it's a height that we are interested in or below when it's a depth. Now we start in the same manner as a two point perspective then add another vanishing point either above or below. The vertical lines converge at the vertical vanishing point and horizontal lines converge to the horizontal vanishing points. Now we will see a technique called foreshortening. It's a technique used in perspective to create the illusion of an object receding strongly into the distance or background. The illusion is created by the object appearing shorter than it is in reality, making it seem compressed. Now we will come to the relational or spatial aspects of the linear perspective. Size of forms. A form relatively smaller in size then another similar form appears to recede. Placement of forms. Forms placed farthest from the horizon appear closest to the viewer. Overlap of forms. A form overlapped by another recedes. Values and focus. Lighter values and less detail suggest distance. Now we have broadly covered the linear perspective in this episode. In the next episode, we'll see the atmospheric perspective and use of color to show illusion of distance. Before I end, I want to give you some homework to do. Exercise 1. To improve upon the normal skills, draw these different variety of lines, curves, waves and spirals, wood textures, rock and metal textures. You can even draw the various designs. Exercise 2. Practice drawing a few rectangles in 1 point, 2 point and 3 point perspectives. Exercise 3 is try and notice the linear perspective aspects in any landscape. Thank you for a patient watch. Stay safe and healthy. See you.